Good morning. Good morning. A, a very warm welcome. Um, I've, been, I've been up since the crack of dawn. Um, I haven't been watching musicals, you'll be pleased to know, so no song this morning. Um, but I've actually been up since, yeah, the, uh, I don't know, the dawn, dawn broke. And um, yeah, we've gone through the full gamut in the last, I think, I think the sun comes up at about, I think it's about five o'clock, 5.15. And um, we've been through the full gamut of weather this morning, and we're a bit cloudy at the moment, but I think that just typifies where we've been in July. Um, that I think you just sneak out and get the uh, get the sunny bits as you can. Oops. Dear, there's a fire engine, and uh, that doesn't look good. So whatever's going on there, if we can keep that in our prayers, because uh, they're not going on a social call. So uh, yeah, there's 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 a some somebody needs to be blessed somewhere so uh so yesterday yesterday i was um i was looking on facebook and a friend of mine a good friend of mine from a college had um he, he said he had his car broken into and one of the things that the thieves stole i think they stole his coat by the look of it they they stole this well not this one it wasn't me that stole it but they, they stole one of these um which is basically his his home communion kit which he always keeps in the car. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's another uh, that's another fire engine. So I don't know what's going on, but um, there's something quite bad going on. So uh, if we can if we can keep that in our prayers. Um, so anyway, so a friend of mine had his home communion kit stolen. Um, these things, although they're quite small, they're quite specialised. So. They're not cheap, they're not cheap, um, and they're often ordination presents. Mine, mine was actually an ordination present um, from my wife's parents, and um, they're not cheap. So also it may well have had sentimental value. Um, you know, certainly it's not something you're going to want to go and replace. Um, you, 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 get, you get nothing for, for, for less than three or four hundred pounds, and knowing him and his, his, his kind of... More Catholic sensibilities, I imagine his kit was rather super, um, and they can run into you know a thousand pounds. Um, but the thing that struck me, the thing that struck me as I was reading it, was his 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 response, his response, and his his offering of of of, of kind forgiveness, his offering of kind forgiveness. Um, he actually said, "I wish they'd taken my Bible too. I wish they'd taken my Bible too." Now, this chap, before he was ordained, was a policeman. He was a policeman before he was a priest. And he said, you know what? They probably need the Bible and they definitely need its contents. His, his attitude, I thought, showed huge, huge strength of Christian character. Because however Christian we are, however Christian we are, our human nature often influences the tone of our response. Um, and... and actually where our Christian faith should be our default setting, our humanity is often our, 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 our um, default setting. Now people on Facebook, friends of his, including other people that I know are Christian and one or two priests, they were baying for blood, they were out for vengeance. Um, and yet even as the victim, my friend preached forgiveness. He preached forgiveness which I thought was great. And it, and it led me quite quite well into our, our reading today. Now, as you know, we've changed it. Morning prayer is still Luke, but we've changed to 2 Corinthians because that's the evening prayer. And I just thought we'd shake it up. And also we've been looking at maybe a word that jumps out from the, from the reading. And yesterday's was heart. And maybe I was slightly influenced by his, his great response. But, but, but the, the word that I read in it um, was strength. I mean, today's reading says we need to be we need to be asking for God's presence and, our, and, and his strength in our lives and daily um, for the Holy Spirit to be working through us constantly and within us. And we need to be praying that God's will be done, uh, not just in our own private world and on our, our, our own selves, um, much as we want it, but praying for the whole world praying for the whole world and whatever we're going through our strength of Christian character actually is seen in how we continue to pray for others that's that's what I was seeing in this um 
you know, we need to be concerned about the trials and our own needs, um, the things that go in in our own world, um, difficult as they seem at times. But actually a real strength of character is, is when we're seen to just grit our teeth, know that God is working in us. We already have that. But then doing what my friend did and praying for others, praying for others. I mean, he, I, 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 I just see that although he was the victim of the crime, they're the victims of not yet, not yet knowing who Jesus is in their lives. And that's the thing that made my friend strong. Let's pray. O Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. And hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. And according to your judgment, give us life. For the night has passed and the day lies open before us. And so let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O Lord, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. And so our first reading, um, Psalm 13. How long will you forget me, O Lord, forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I have anguish in my soul and grief in my heart day after day? How long shall my enemy triumph over me? Look upon me and answer me, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep in death. Lest my enemy says, I have prevailed against him, and my foes rejoice that I have fallen. But I put my trust in your steadfast love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, for he has dealt so bountifully with me. And our second reading is taken from 2 Corinthians. It is necessary to both. Nothing is gained by it, but I will go on to visions and revelations of the Lord. I know a person in Christ who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. Whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows, and I know that such a person, whether in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows, was caught up into paradise and heard things that are not to be told, that no mortal is permitted to repeat. On behalf of such a one I will boast, but on my own behalf I will not boast, except of my weakness. But if I wish to boast, I will not be a fool, for I will be speaking the truth. But I refrain from it, so that no one may think better of me than what is seen in me or heard in me, even considering the exceptional character of the revelations. Therefore, to keep me from being too elated, a thorn was given to me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I appealed to the Lord about this, that it would leave me, but he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. So I will boast all the more gladly of my weakness, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore, I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions and calamities for the sake of Christ. For whenever I am weak, then I am strong. This is the word of the Lord. Let's pray. And so, Heavenly Father, we begin today praying for whatever situation is going on up the road. Lord, that two fire engines and a police car zoom by. And with all the lights and the sirens going, it, it can only mean that something not good is going on, Lord. And so whatever their situation is, we, we just pray that you're there. 
Lord be with whoever this is directly affecting, whether it be in a house or a car. Lord be with the emergency services, with the firemen and women and the policemen and women who are attending. Lord be their strength, but also make their hearts compassionate and true. Lord, we pray that whoever is in danger, you're with them. And whatever this situation is, Lord, that it's brought quickly under control. Heavenly Father, we also pray today, as we have done for so long, for this corona pandemic. Lord, we pray for so many lives sadly lost in our own community, in our country and throughout the world. Father, we know the greatness of your compassion. And so we ask that you open the gates of your kingdom where sins are forgiven and where death is no more. We pray for those who mourn, for those living in great sadness. And Lord, we ask that you're with them. We pray too for those who are sick and for those who inevitably will become sick. And Lord, we just pray for their healing. Again, Lord, we pray for the families, colleagues, friends, and we ask that you bring them your peace. Lord, we pray for all those living in fear. Those still living in isolation, whether as family units, couples or people on their own. There are still many, many people, Lord. And we are ask that you're with each one. Let them know that in their loneliness and frustration and in their fear that you're with them. We pray too for their families and friends who are concerned. We pray for our economy, for businesses so hardly, so hardly hit. Lord, we pray for wisdom in business leaders that they find new ways to build up their businesses again help strengthen our economy and for so many charities that have suffered so hard Again, Lord, we thank you for people who run charities and who lead charities and their immense sense of creativity in the way that they're able to offer new ideas to increase their revenues and their volunteer bases. Thank you, Lord, for an army of people Fantastic people that have helped carry our load in this time. People working in hospitals, care homes, hospices. Community based organisations that are helping people at ground level. Shop workers and so many people that have done jobs that have helped. Held our heads above water. And in light of the fire brigade and I think an ambulance has gone by and a police car. Lord, we thank you for our emergency services. And for Lord, for the, the brave and compassionate way that they help so many people. 
So we all know people in this situation at the moment. We all know situations regarding Corona that we worry about. And so bring them to the Lord now in a moment of silence. Father God, we pray for our world. Lord, we pray for a world that has so many problems beyond coronavirus. Problems of great poverty, hunger, injustice, war and sickness. Lord, we ask that you bless our world, the world that you created, Lord. Lord, forgive us that we often make such a hash of running it from generation to generation. Lord, we ask that you bring peace to the world and a sense of true human justice that people wouldn't be starving to death in a world of plenty. pray for our own community this morning. Many people within our own community are currently sick and some have passed. Lord for those with sickness we just pray your strength into them and that blessing of healing. Lord for those who have passed again we ask that you take them into your kingdom And we pray for the families and friends that are left behind. And Lord, we ask that you bring your comfort. We pray for people in our own community that struggle with their finances, particularly at the moment. Lord, we just pray that, Lord, we just pray that they know that they are loved, they know that they're cared for. This morning, Lord, we particularly pray for those who suffer silently. Lord, let them know that there's no disgrace to share their worries. pray particularly this morning on the eve of our food bank collection Lord for those poor people that struggle and need their weekly food topping up Lord we thank you for organisations such as the Luton Food Bank and similar organisations throughout this country and throughout the world Lord, gently working in the background to improve the lives of others. And Lord, we ask you to bless this ministry. We all know situations in the world where our hearts are particularly moved. We all have friends, family locally that are currently struggling, or might even be grieving. And so bring your prayers to the foot of the cross. And so Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, each one of us has so many blessings in our lives. Lord, we thank you for the food that we eat, for the roofs over our heads. Lord, for books to read, the sun upon our face, 
bird song and simply the pleasure of receiving a smile from someone. Great from friends and family, even better from strangers. Lord, we thank you for fun, for love and laughter. And Lord, we thank you for a life lived in you. And to almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you brought us safely to the beginning of this new day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do only what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so trusting in the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. So thank you for joining today. It's good to uh, it's good to be able to pray together. I really like I really like the fact that I know that we're doing this together, and I know at home you're responding. So uh, so God bless you for that. Um, as I've just said, food bank day tomorrow. Um, so John and Dorothy will be collecting at the parish centre. Um, very aware of social distancing, probably even more so than we were a month ago. You know, there's there's lots of news all over the place at the moment so uh yeah um so be safe but um if you have bought something do bring some along that would be wonderful please don't feel compelled to do so it's 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 not a requirement um and but um if, if you are in sainsbury's then pop something in the basket i still think pasta sauce um and tinned meat and tinned fruit were, were popular but um, obviously anything that you have or anything you would be prepared to give and if you're not able to give this month it's not a problem but do do keep this ministry in your prayers it would be fantastic so that's tomorrow between two and four at the parish centre I'm I, I will come along when I can I've, I've got a I've got a funeral and a cremation tomorrow but uh, I am aiming to, to, to come so uh, it would be good to see some of you um, tomorrow morning morning prayer is at eight o'clock and on Friday it is at nine o'clock and tomorrow evening we have evening prayer at uh, for 8.30. Uh, if you want some prayers used within the service for tomorrow, please please message or send them over or phone. Um, and similarly for Sunday. Um, if you come along to church on Sunday, because we are open for limited worship, if you if you hand some prayers in at the door, if you would like it used at the nine o'clock stream service, um, then again, please message or, uh, or telephone. Um, that's it i do rabbit it on don't i'm so sorry <laughs> um sorry about that um have a fantastic day um I'm, the church is open this morning for private prayer um so again between 11 and 1 i'm getting better at remembering all of these things um so again you'd be you'd be very welcome to come up for some uh, for some silent private prayer um and i do believe that's it i do believe that's it i can't think of anything else so uh Lovely to see you. Have a fantastic day. I'm around if you need me. And uh, let's finish with a final blessing. And so may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through this wilderness and protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And do keep the, the whatever's going on, do keep that situation in your hearts today because it didn't look good. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone.